Hello my loves, welcome to your weekly reading. So this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, we have uh, truth being revealed, okay? Um, I don't know, you may find this truth out online, you may find it out through the grapevine, you may run into a piece of situation, you know, a piece of, a piece of situation, listen to me, <laughs> a piece of information um, that kind of opens your eyes to the fact that um, this person may in fact have been talking to multiple people, or it could be that this person just, you know, you're coming to realize here that maybe to your face, they're looking, you know, they say they're committed or whatever, but in reality, they don't really know what they want, right? Um, and meanwhile, you're sitting here, you know, putting your all into this connection, and you're like, you know what? What else is an a -nay? You know, I'm walking away from this. I'm going to move on and do what's best for me, right? So this person comes in with an apology. Obviously, you're not going to take the apology because you don't want to get involved in all that drama or whatnot. But now the problem is, right, the problem is, is that now out of all of these options that this person is dealing with, you have now become something that they can't have, right? Which, I mean, it's, it's obviously their karma for losing you, okay? It's obviously their karma for losing you, but I mean, now it's like you've become something that they don't, they can't have, right? So it makes you shine above the rest, all right? Um, I, I think that, you know, this person is going to come to the realization that they were just too slow to commit and that this might really be over. The problem is, though, is that now that they can't have you, they actually see you. Like, it's one of those situations that you don't know what you have until it's gone. Look at this. Justice under the deck. Yep, somebody's definitely, um, someone's definitely facing the music here, guys. Somebody is definitely facing the music here. So let's see here. Yeah, you know, you, you gotta, you make a bed, you gotta lie in it. And I feel like, look at this, what just popped out. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yet yeah, now it's like this person just can't get you out of their head right? Like they cannot because now, yeah, they still have all these options, but all those options are still available to them, right? And you know, you know how this goes. You always want what you can't have type of deal, right? So this person might be regretting their actions here. Yeah. They're trying to find the courage to come in and reconcile because they know, they know that they deserve for you to give up on them. Okay. See that eight, uh, 10 of wands, we have the Ten of Wands and the Justice. They know that they deserve what they're getting here. It's not like they, they feel that, you know what I'm saying? They know. So they need courage. Like, it's going to take, you know, a set of, you know what I'm saying, to come forward. Um, I want to use this one deck. I, I just got this recently. It's the Fairy Godmother deck. I love this deck. Spirit, what messages do we have here for the collective, please? Self-worth. Yes, 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 my loves. You guys know what you're worth. Okay, you guys know what you're worth and you are not going to be treated like an option. Okay, you're just not going to be treated like an option. Honestly, I don't blame you. All right, let's see here. So we've got the nine of wands. So this is someone who's fed up. This is someone who's tired. You know, you've put your all into this. So now you see we have the Nine of Wands, and then right under this Justice card, we have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands talks about, like, the straw that broke the camel's back. You know what I'm saying? You have, you've had it. Like, you're tired. You've really put your all into this. You really did try with this person. With the Seven of Wands, I feel like... This can either be an energy of blocking this person, or this could be you being tired of trying to overcome over and over and over again. We've got the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. So this tells me that this person has done messed up stuff over and over and over again. And here they come with this apology for being noncommittal, for being irresponsible, for not, you know, for not paying attention to your feelings, for only doing what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? So they've, it's, it's been going on. Like this isn't the first time. And this is what I think sparked your intuition to know that something's just not quite right. Okay. Cause it just kept happening. Oh, this may have been a connection where you're constantly fighting and getting back together, but you know, you're constantly forced to forgive over and over and over again. Here we have the Two of Pentacles and the Empress. Someone here was straight up juggling an Empress. Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. You don't juggle an Empress. You just, you just don't. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? What are you juggling an Empress with? What is better than an Empress, right? So here we have the Ace of Swords 
and the Hierophant, okay? So this person is realizing this painful truth that with the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, you were the one, okay? But is it too little, too late, okay? So now what's happening is, is that this person comes in and they're always apologizing for, you know, they want to come in and apologize. They do. They want to come in and apologize for their behavior, but they're being shut out because you have had it, okay? Now here we have temptation, the devil card, Capricorn energy, and the star. So you see, now that they can't have you, this is the energy that I was feeling. Now that they can't have you, you've become wish fulfillment. You've become, it, it's like, it's like looking up at the stars and wanting to touch one. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, you've become everything that they feel like they can't have. And now they're obsessed. Now they want to come in. Now they want to heal the situation. So we've got Capricorn energy here, Aquarius energy. Yeah, see now, and they may be looking, you know, the star card could be a public card. They could be looking, you, uh, you know, at you online. We've got the Ace of Cups here. And we've got the Four of Cups. So this person offered a lot of, you know, they, they want to offer love, but it's being rejected. Or, you know, you offered a lot of love and you're feeling that this person just isn't taking your offer. We've got the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups here. Someone here is realizing they're looking back at the past and they're like, wow, my Empress did everything for me. My Empress filled all nine of my cups. My Empress did everything. Look at how this person is reminiscing, okay? My, you know, my person did everything. My Empress did everything. What was I thinking? They gave me so much love and I turned it away. Okay. See now I, I, I feel strongly that this is, this is your side because I feel like you're pushing away this apology. Okay. And you're realizing here that you're being juggled. Okay. And you know, they didn't see the truth that you were the one and here they are, they're obsessed over you. They're realizing here that they, you gave nothing but love and they rejected that love. They didn't take the love. They didn't take the offer. And now they're looking back at the past, realizing that you gave them everything that they could have possibly wanted. And now we have the Seven of Cups and the Strength card. Why did they hold back though? Because they had options. What options are gonna to compare to an emperor? An emperor, oh, excuse me, we've got an emperor here, not an empress, an emperor. Aries, Taurus energy, okay? So it doesn't matter. Divine feminine, divine masculine. The point is emperor, empress, gender doesn't matter. The, how are you gonna juggle an emperor? You can't, okay? You can't, you cannot juggle an emperor or an empress. So let's go ahead and see what we have here, guys. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have here for the collective, please? Tell me about this Nine of Wands, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is coming in with a huge, possibly even very expensive apology, but it's, it's being turned down. Seven of wands we've got the page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy somebody here is finding out a truth and because they found out the truth they are blocking someone they are pushing it away they are walking away with that eight of cups tell me about the page of pentacles please the five of wands so someone is someone is coming in with an apology okay they're coming in with an apology they want to fight for this connection tell me about the full card the Ten of Pentacles. They're realizing here that they acted a fool while they had a Ten of Pentacles on their hand. Okay. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. We've got that Five of Cups. Someone here is regretting. This is what I was saying. You do not, you do not juggle an emperor or an empress. Okay. You just don't. Okay. They're having a lot of regret. Look, with the Justice card and the Five of Cups, that's someone drowning in regret here. Tell me about this Emperor, the Sun, Aries, Taurus energy. Now they're realizing your worth. Now you're reali they're realizing that you were the one. Now they're realizing that no one's going to compare to you. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, the Strength card. Okay, Leo energy and the Eight of Pentacles. Someone here is coming to the realization that they held back from working on a connection that was meant for them. Yeah, on a soulmate connection here. They held back, because look at this, guys. Someone here, the Ace of Swords is all about an awakening, okay? It's all about an awakening. Could even be a victory or taking action, but in this sense, in this particular um, uh, uh, reading, I feel like this is an awakening. 
my gosh, I held back. I held back from working on a beautiful soulmate connection. I held back from working on a connection that really could have made me happy. It was divinely guided. It was something that, you know, was meant for me, and I just pushed it away. Tell me, you know, because with that hierophant, that does tell me that it is divinely guided. Tell me about this hierophant here, please, spirit. We've got the hanged man, Piscean energy. Yeah, someone here is just sitting around realizing that you are the one for them, okay? With the Page of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy, I just want to show you, you see how this hanged man is hanging around? You see that You see that light around his head? Those are messages coming in. Those are his angels, his guides. Those are him, that's him, that's him getting downloads here, okay? on. That's him getting downloads here on, you know, waking up to the fact that he lost something really good and guys gender doesn't matter male female okay the hermit here virgo energy yeah someone here is realizing that they pulled away from the person that they're meant to be with tell me about temptation here please spirit tell me about temptation Ooh, we got the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy someone is coming in with an apology now someone is like obsessively wanting to communicate wanting to charge forward in victory strong cancerian energy here somebody is really laying it on thick yeah they're laying that someone here is realizing we've got two ace of cups here someone here is realizing now how much they love you and every second that they can't have you they're falling in love more and more and more okay with the ace of, of cups here and the magician virgo gemini energy i feel like this person is either manifesting you back into their life or this person is realizing here because we've got the ace of cups and the four of cups here they're realizing here how much love you had to give how much work you put into this connection okay you gave love you gave passion you gave money um you know, you were their ten of cups. Yeah, someone here is realizing, you know, they filled my my all my ten cups. They gave me all the love I could have ever wanted. And with that four of cups, I rejected it. King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. So the King of Wands um could be an energy of someone that just needed a lot of attention, very flirtatious energy. Um, you know, and you see now what's happening here is because this king you know, rejected the offer because he, not that he rejected it, he just didn't accept the love, like he wasn't appreciating the love. He wasn't satisfied with all this love that was being given to him, right? And now look at what he's managed to accomplish, okay? He's sitting there with passion wanting to win this queen over and she's ready to chop his bleep off. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean, it's just like, she's not like, oh, you want to talk to me? Okay, no, the door is over yonder. You could just, you know, don't let it smack you in the butt on the way out. She's not taking nothing. She doesn't want to, she does not, she has a sword right in front of her heart. She does not trust this person. And gender doesn't matter, guys, okay? Gender doesn't matter. Spirit, tell me about this nine of cups here. We've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So you see, this person is realizing that while they were getting whatever they wanted, you know what I'm saying? In turn, they were acting like a player. They were acting like a fool and pushing that love away, not appreciating it. And now with the Six of Cups, they're realizing here, look at this, we got the Star card twice. They're realizing here, how did I not see how amazing this person was when I had them? We have the Six of Cups there in the star. How did I not see how amazing this person was when I had them in my hands? Look, the Six of Cups on top of the Six of Cups. This person is reminiscing hardcore. They're thinking of every little thing you did for them, okay? And meanwhile, behind the scenes, they created this illusion that, you know, they were committed because the King of Wands is committed, okay? But it, it's an illusion. They, they just fed a bunch of, again, I'm not really getting lies. I'm just getting that they didn't speak their full truth here, okay? And, you know, it's not cool, guys. It's not cool. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn towards Virgo energy, okay? They were taking their sweet time and fully committing to this situation. Why? Because they wanted to go prance around, jumping from this person to that person, talking to this person, you know, being a Mr. and Mrs. Popular, you know, talking to everybody, flirting with everybody. This is not someone who's got a plan. This is someone who just, you know, wants to do whatever they want to do every day. You know, you see eight of wands this is somebody that went around talking to this person talking to that person this could also be multiple sexual encounters one night stands as you can see that fool is not pulling up with a moving truck he's got a backpack in out this that you know wham bam thank you man we're done you know he was talking to multiple people she was talking to multiple people whatever gender doesn't matter okay but with the world card here 
that, that, that this is what this is a cycle that's ending because you've got this emperor they're not dealing with it tell me about the strength card we've got the justice card here yeah libra energy uh you know someone is paying their karma here for for holding back for not giving someone here was giving their all and this person was giving nothing but headaches We've got the justice. Yeah, see, I mean, for me, with the world card, the justice card, this is karmic justice. With the death card, scorpionic energy, shit, things have changed here. Things have changed. Ooh, ooh, that's painful. Yeah, somebody here is like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. But they're chasing Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. They are chasing, okay? Yeah. Look at what we have under the deck here. This person is looking out yonder. They have this vision. They want to reconcile. They want to reconcile. We could be dealing with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But my point here is with that Queen of Cups, they 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 miss this person's love. They miss their caring. They miss they miss they miss everything about this person because the Queen of Cups is a very loving, caring, nurturing person. So this person is missing the love that th this emperor had to give or this empress had to give. Okay, they want healing. They want to fix the situation, okay? They want to apologize for having all of these people on the side. They do. They want to apologize for holding back, for not giving to this connection, okay? For keeping those secrets, for not being happy or satisfied or appreciative of what they had when they had it, okay? And now, now that someone here has given up, now that they've walked away, they're realizing that, well, well, I sabotage something amazing and now with this devil card they are obsessed about coming in and apologizing okay literally you got the devil card there twice they are obsessed about getting you back this knight of swords we're ending here with the knight of swords this is a very fast moving energy this is a knight coming in reckless careless just swinging at everybody no you need to speak to me no i want you back this person's losing their mind okay so here are the challenges we've got the knight of pentacles again Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy and we have the two of water so the challenge here oh, excuse me um the challenge here is that somebody straight up took too long to commit okay or they took too long to acknowledge the fact that this is their soulmate that this is the love of their life look at how many soulmate cards here we have guys we've got the two of cups we've got the ten of cups we've got the ten of pentacles here we've got two six of cups which are soulmate cards here i mean guys like we've got two ace of cups here what more does this person want you know what i'm saying no wonder why they're drowning and i mean drowning in regret here so let's see what we have going on we've got the page of cups and the seven of pentacles looks seven of pentacles talks about looking back at your past mistakes okay the seven of pentacles talks about looking back at what you did wrong and not wanting to repeat those same mistakes and with that knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy this person wants to come in and say listen I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong, and I don't want to do it again, and I'm sorry, okay? But guys, I mean, for whoever I'm reading for here, the, you know, they really, you know, it, they, the way you see it is, man, you really got a set of, you know what I'm saying, for coming back here. You really got some courage coming back because I know my self-worth. What makes you think I'm going to put myself in that position again? right okay guys so let's go ahead and take it into an extended um let's see if this knight of swords is going to get through it you know let's see if there's going to be reconciliation and let's see if this person really is going to change okay so let's see what their true feelings their true intentions are if there's going to be reconciliation and what the final outcome is going to be okay the link for the extended will be in the description box below and it will be in the comment section below okay i love you guys be safe i love you guys be safe